So let's see how do we assign uh, IP address to the Velo Cloud Edge device manually before we bring up and then uh, we can also see how do we manually bring up the Velo Cloud Edge in the uh, Velo Cloud Orchestrator. Okay, so first we need to attach uh, the profile. Uh, let's create a device and attach the profile that we have already created. So this is, let me log into the Velo Cloud uh, Orchestrator Operator Portal. Okay, so let me access the existing customer that we have, Len Lab. Okay, so we have brought up already two devices. So let's bring up third device now. So let us create a new edge. Uh, this is branch to R1. Uh, this is model virtual edge. Profile, we have already created the profile is test profile okay and then create so we can also select uh, location uh, we can set the location here but as of now I am leaving it default let's create that so it, now this particular edge is created and uh, so we have uh, 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 the uh, we have got the uh, key the activation key for this already so now this is the, the profile is basically attached here right but this profile has variables in it so we need to fill in all the variables so that the all the variable values will get attached to the device when it is coming online okay so by default for example let's say if we go to instance let's log in let me sign in to the uh, LearnEdge lab portal Okay, so now let's go to, I mean, devices. So here is our B2R1. Let me access the serial console, which will be easy for us to view. Okay, so now if you see here, we don't have any IP address or any interface that is enabled with the DHCP because there is no DHCP server on those links. I mean, there is no DHCP server connected on those links, right? So if you see here, so there is an icon, I mean the, the warning mark, that means this is not valid. So that means it contains some of the variables that we need to fill in. So let's access this. So what is the edge LAN IP address? So let us configure this with 10.4.2.0 or oh sorry 2.1 which is slash 24 okay and it automatically takes care of the network and then if uh, we want to act this particular Velo Cloud Edge as a DHCP server for all its LAN connected segment so you can use this right so let's use that by default so update VLAN now you see that the uh, warning mark has been gone and now let's enable GA3. GA3 is basically where our WAN interface is connected and we want it to be static. So let us create this in the profile first. Okay. So this is basically that we are creating this in the profile. We don't have as of now attached this profile to this particular edge. So this is still under pending mode. Right. So let us uh, any other options? Yeah, so update GE3. Um, sorry, 9.1. dot Okay, update GE3 and then save changes. So you see here B2R1 is still pending. Okay. <coughs> so what we can do here now so now in order to get that profile configuration first of all the velo cloud edge the vc edge needs to reach out to velo cloud orchestrator ok 
okay but as of now we don't have any communication to the velo cloud orchestrator so now you can see 9.1.6.2 uh, is my velo cloud orchestrator ip address we are not able to reach from this particular velo cloud edge because we didn't assign ip address and there is no dhcp as well connected here so how do we assign IP address so basically my internet connecting or internet facing interface is gigabit ethernet 3 so let us assign using the command set underscore van underscore config dot sh okay and then this is my g3 I want to assign the IP address statically so what is the IP address 9.1.4.2 subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 gateway is 9.1.4.1 okay so now we have assigned the IP address right so ping 9.1.6.2 let's see if you are able to ping the gateway we are able to ping the gateway I think this is uh, uh, blocked over there okay so what we can do is we can just quickly activate directly from the CLI itself so what is the command for that activate dot py minus s which is my velo cloud orchestrator server IP address 9.1.6.2 and then I want to give the key so what is the key this is the key address is the activation key basically okay now we see the activation of this particular velo cloud edge is successful and then the VCO overridden is back to 9.1.6.2 so now you see it is cleaning up because it's pushing the profile configuration it is removing the unnecessary bridges that has been earlier created by default right and then now let me click on refresh this go to b2r1 you see now b2r1 goes from pending to degraded state right so if you go to monitor now it is at the degraded state but eventually it will come up so we can see in a couple of minutes here okay so let us wait so it is actually initiated connection back to the you see here it has a stable link so state is connected properly and you see the cloud status the cloud status is up and running and the VPN status is also up and running okay so now you see from degraded to it goes to connected state right you see the status is up and running now okay so this is how basically you bring up completely uh, or bring up uh, the velo cloud edge devices manually right so if you go to the overlay flow control we will see the connected interface which is 10.4.2.0 has been advertised in the overlay